With a much-awaited ceasefire and hostage deal for Gaza still unresolved, an Israeli delegation is in Egypt on Tuesday to try to complete the task, coinciding with a delegation from Hamas also visiting Cairo. According to the Lebanese Al Akhbar newspaper, citing Egyptian sources, the deal will reportedly take effect at the beginning of next week, despite Hamas not yet giving its official response. The report added that Egypt fears Israel will not fully adhere to the ceasefire after it receives some of the hostages. Hamas is holding women, children, the sick and the elderly hostage in Gaza. We will keep on doing everything we need for their freedom, to bring them home. This is what any other decent country in the world will do. The visit comes hours after Israel announced the death of four Israeli hostages in Hamas captivity. All four appeared in psychological warfare videos released by Hamas as they begged for their lives. The army is checking whether they were killed by IDF fire. Today we shared the devastating news with the families of 85-year-old Amiram Cooper, one of the founders of Kibbutz Niroz, 80-year-old Chaim Perry from Kibbutz Niroz, 80-year-old Yoram Metzger from Kibbutz Niroz, and 51-year-old Israeli and British citizen Nadav Popelwell from Kibbutz Nirim. That their loved ones were killed a few months ago during Hamas captivity in Gaza, and their bodies are still being held by Hamas. We assess that the four of them were killed while together in the area of Khan Yunis during our operation there against Hamas. Following the announcements, several hundreds of Israelis took to the streets across the country, demanding an immediate deal. With more than a third of the remaining Israeli hostages in Gaza believed to be dead, Monday's announcement illustrates how despite claims of major achievements on the battlefield, Israel is getting closer and closer to Hamas's demands. Raising the question, is Israel actually doing all it can to bring back its hostages and alive?